Go dummy, go beast on him. I go beast. Go deep, I OD on him. Apply pressure, put heat on him. Put that five zero degrees on him. Hey guys, welcome back. It's your boy PR, and I am following up on a video I made about a year ago of the Han or Han uh, holster for grenades. In my unboxing slash first impressions, I went over what I thought the pros and cons after my first, just like without even gaming it anything. But uh, a year later, I have been to the field many, many, many times and have uh, put these things through their rigors. So I figured this is a good enough time as any to actually give a review on it. So let's just start off by after a year of gameplay, what do I think of it? After a year, I have to say these are pretty cool. They're, they're actually doing their job. They've made uh, my life a lot easier. Grabbing the grenades off of my chest rig is a piece of cake, so it's made getting grenade kills a lot easier. With that said, I do have some complaints about it. Not that much, uh, but, you know, just a little, a little bit. Um, so first of all, in the unboxing and first impressions, I mentioned how one of the holsters that I got, uh, the clip that actually attaches uh, and closes to the Molly, was kind of worn already, and I want to give a little update on that. So after filming the initial impressions and unboxing, I went to add it onto my chest rig, and trying to add it, snapped it off completely. Now, I should mention that before this, I had not really put it on anything. I purposely left this one off uh, to show the unboxing, well, unbagging of, but yeah, I just um, putting it on snapped this piece completely off. Um, so there's that. I don't know if this is a lemon or if this is something that will happen to all of them. Unclear. Just something you should keep, a, uh, keep an eye out, be aware of that uh, it is possible for them to uh, break like that. I also mentioned in my other video that it was possible for the pieces to slip out and off. And that is something that has happened multiple times. Um, so it is something to be aware of. However, I will turn a negative into a positive while they came undone from my molly, and this might just be a case of my molly spacing not being correct, or just being worn out. I've had this JPC for five years, six years now, so it's been put through the ringer. Uh, but the positive note is, while the top part that holds them slipped out and has always slipped out, the holsters themselves have never fallen off my rig. So while they do come out a little and jiggle, it has not impeded my gameplay at all. Uh, I also mentioned that there was some side-to-side -side play. Haven't really noticed that. I'll kind of show you the back here that I have. You can see that I have attached all the paracord, uh, which I highly recommend. Uh, while it is nice to have that hole that you have to sometimes make big enough to get the paracord through, um, but while it is nice to have that attached to the paracord so that you can have something that holds your rings and pins from the grenades, I find that it is much better for stability to have it just tied to the molly itself. It doesn't really impede, like when it's on, it doesn't really bother me at all, I don't even notice it. In fact, uh, up until reviewing my previous video, I kind of forgot that they were on there, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, I mean, the, the side to side play, if any, it, I have not noticed it. It doesn't do anything weird to you while you run. It doesn't feel weird. Um, so that my initial concerns ended up not being that big of a deal when it came to actual gameplay. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, after a year of playing, um, 
And this is, I've had these on my rig, whether I was playing indoors, which is pretty much the only place I use the grenades, or outdoors, these have been on here and they have not broke. Um, they have not really seen any problems other than that one initial one. Uh, they still hold on, they are still solid. So that is good. But as mentioned, there is, as you can see here, some decent amount of play on them, but it really doesn't impede me at all. So that's good. The convenience that they give for having that grenade come out and be in your hand is unparalleled. I used to use the, the Velcro runs and it would take some time to undo the Velcro, which is in itself loud. People hear that you're, you know, undoing Velcro. So if you're trying to sneak up on someone, you lose any advantage of stealth. Um, the fix is to keep them just without tops, the Velcro closed, but then you run the risk of them falling out. Should you be like going prone or, you know, hopping over stuff. This is a much better system. Uh, it is right there in your hands. And I mean, it takes very little effort to pop it off. There is a little bit of a noise. I will say that it's definitely not as loud or as noticeable as the uh, Velcro being undone, but there is a little bit of a, like a popping sound, um, but it's, it's very low. Um, but yeah, the, the ease through which they come out is amazing. And I'm gonna link to some clips uh, of me quickly pulling out a grenade when need be uh, right here. Okay, there's a guy apparently under the counter. Ah, damn it. So while it is easy to get them out of the holster, putting them back in is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, I kind of demonstrated in my first video that it was stiff. It is, uh, and just doing it in my hands was kind of a challenge, uh, especially when I was worried about breaking them. Um, but in the field, trying to put your grenade back in uh, is kind of a, a pain in the ass. I have found that if you angle them in here, I don't know, uh, and kind of angle the grenade in and then slip it in, it will go in easier, but it is still a pain in the ass, especially when it's on you, like they're trying to do that while it's on you, pain in the ass. So that is, I guess, a con. If you pull out a grenade and have to put it back in, uh, it is a little bit more difficult, uh, but I think the benefits from it are good enough that, I mean, if you're pulling out a grenade, you're probably gonna use it anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. And as long as you angle them, you do have an easier time. Um, I probably have played a dozen or more games with grenades actually in here. I have played probably close to a hundred games with just these on the rigs over the year. So well, probably more than a dozen with them in, but I played a lot. Um, and they have, they've made it through. They weathered the test. So, I cannot recommend these enough. They make my life way easier. It's always nice to be able to have that grenade handy if need be. Um, as mentioned, them requiring three mollies is kind of a, a detriment because uh, it really limits where you can have them. But just having it on the, my side right here is out of the way. My uh, arm barely sits on top of them. It's, it doesn't feel weird, like just the way that I have them set up. Uh, like the bottom of my arm kind of touches the top of the grenade, so it kind of gives a little bit of a support, uh, but it doesn't interfere with my gameplay. Um, they are light enough that I, I mean, I barely notice them. So yeah, uh, after a year of gaming them, 
I have to say, uh, worth the buy, worth the $20.99, I think it was, I don't know what they currently are, but definitely worth the price if you use um, dumbbell style grenades, Airsoft Innovation Cyclones, the uh, barbell kind of uh, cores, or not cores, but shells for the uh, Thunderbees, or apparently the EG-18s. I haven't tried with the EG-18s, the only thing I have not tried in here yet. But uh, from everywhere that I've looked, uh, they do fit. Um, so yeah, uh, worth it. Definitely check them out if you can get them. If you use those style of grenades, it'll definitely work with that. Um, I know the new Tornado 2s also fit in here. So if you're looking at the new Tornadoes, um, they will fit in here as well. So yeah, that's my review.